I love anything Tuscan, and this crockpot soup is going to blow your mind. This is my favorite time of year. These cooler days make me want to curl up on the couch with a cozy blanket and a big bowl of soup. Hey y'all, I'm Valerie, and welcome to my kitchen. In today's video, I'm making crockpot Tuscan chicken soup. This video is also extra special because it's part of a soup timber collab hosted by Leanne over at Mennonite Farmhouse. I'll have her channel linked below along with a playlist full of delicious soup recipes. There will also be a giveaway, but I'll tell you more about that here shortly. Now let's get started on this soup. I kind of combined a bunch of different recipes and this is what I came up with. I had to tweak it a couple times, but now I think I have it just right. First, I wanted to show y'all this. I've had this cheese grater for several years now, and I never thought to use it to grate my carrots. And let me tell you, it's a complete game changer. And yes, it's supposed to have that little thing that goes down in the top there, that way you don't cut your fingers, but I don't use that because I don't want something else to wash. Okay, to a crock pot, you're gonna add one large diced onion. And when I buy onions, I go ahead and chop them all up and freeze them in little baggies. That way they're ready for me when I need them. You're also gonna add in two shredded carrots. Next, add in about one and a half pounds of boneless skinless chicken, along with three and a half cups of chicken broth. Now you're gonna add in a 28 ounce can of Italian style petite diced tomatoes. You can use this size or you can use two 15 ounce cans. And if yours are not Italian style, just go ahead and add you in a little extra Italian seasoning. I love sun-dried tomatoes, so I'm adding in a half a cup of those. They do come in oil. I don't add a ton of that, but I do add a little because it does give it flavor. And I was supposed to do two tablespoons of minced garlic here, but it looks like I only did one. What was I thinking? <laughs> We're gonna add one teaspoon each of salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Then two teaspoons each of oregano, paprika, and Italian seasoning. Now on top of all that, lay down three tablespoons of butter. I covered this and set it to cook on low for six hours. I'd say peek at it at about four hours though, you don't want to overcook the chicken, you just want to cook it until it's cooked through. Okay, details about the giveaway. All you have to do to enter is leave a comment down below. You can tell me your favorite soup, your favorite fall recipe, or you can just say hey. Leanne's going to be doing a live stream to announce the winner on October the 7th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The grand prize is going to be a $100 gift card, and there's going to be two runner-ups to receive $50 gift cards. I do wanna say, if you're coming over from the playlist, welcome, I'm so happy to have you here. I share lots of recipes on my channel, so if that's something you're interested in, I will love it if you would hit that subscribe button and become part of my YouTube family. Okay, now let's get back to this soup. Okay, it's been about four and a half hours and my chicken is cooked through. And I just have to say, if you wanna cook something to make your house smell amazing, this is what you need to make. I'm removing my chicken to a separate plate to shred, but you can also dice it if that's what you prefer. I'm just here to give y'all ideas. You can make it exactly like I'm making it, or you can change it up and make it based on what your family likes. Now you can go ahead and add that chicken back in, then give it a little stir. We've got just a few more ingredients to add in. This is optional, but I'm gonna make up a little cornstarch slurry to thicken up the soup just a little bit. I've got a couple tablespoons of water and one tablespoon of cornstarch. I'm just stirring it until all those lumps are gone. Now you're gonna add that right on into your crock pot. I'm also adding one cup of heavy cream. You can also do whole milk if you'd rather do that. 
I also added half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. I had just enough, thank goodness. Now for the last ingredient, I'm adding three cups of packed spinach. I meant to grab the baby spinach at the store, but I didn't. So I just kind of tore them into pieces and I did try to tear off most of those stems. Then I covered it and let it continue to cook for about 30 more minutes. You just want to give the soup a little time to thicken up and let that spinach wilt down. And if you want it at this point, you can add in some cooked pasta. I've added egg noodles before and those are really good in here. And before I forget, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Oh, and also don't forget to comment below. That way you get entered in the giveaway. I would like to know what your favorite soup is though. I would have topped mine with a little more Parmesan cheese, but I used all mine. This soup is absolutely delicious. And if you're anything like me and you love the Tuscan flavors, you're gonna love this one. This soup freezes well also. I love having it on hand, especially on those cold winter nights. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You may also like these. Don't forget to subscribe down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Also, don't forget to check out Leanne's channel and the playlist, and I will see you in the next one.